Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're gonna speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week, you have the Tower card as your key to the week. Shocking revelations, right? This week, there is going to be some sort of information, something that is shared with you, or maybe something that you are choosing to share with someone that drops a little bit of a bombshell. Um, the Tower card can ultimately be liberating, but when it shows up, it can be quite disruptive. And it wouldn't surprise me if this week is one of those weeks, right? Uh, be prepared, brace yourself for the unknown or the unexpected. Uh, this is also a week where you may find that everything and everyone, you know, especially with the, the current world situation, but you might find that everything or everyone around you seems to be very much on edge. And if that is the case, um, you are a natural sponge, right? Whatever uh, Cancerian placement you have, sun, moon, or rising, you're gonna feel it, right? You always do. It's kind of, I see cancer as kind of like, um, you know, like a spider will sit in the center of the web and as soon as it feels the vibration, it knows where something's going on. That's how cancer's intuition seems to work. That's how I see it anyway. Um, and, yeah, this week, like I said, I mean, it, and for that reason, maybe you have an intuitive hit and you think, okay, you know what, it's not that bad when it hits, but it does look like some sort of surprising or shocking information that is revealed to you that kind of has you go, huh, okay, right, I, phew, got to process that now. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi Love Shirt, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to live, like, love, 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 please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and it resonates, hit the subscribe button for your actions and options this week. You've got the eight of wands. That could literally be a shocking turn of events, a piece of information that is shared with you this week that absolutely kind of, uh, you know, maybe blows your socks off. And the reason I say this, so your action op actions and options is about what you do, what you initiate. But the eight of wands is communication and very often communication that comes in from a distance. You add to that then the tower card, which is, um, you know, it, it's quite shocking news. And so this is why I say like, it looks like a conversation that you have with someone this week is, is really gonna set a cat amongst the pigeons. And it could be a message or information that comes in that kind of, that you really don't see coming. And I can't give you any more specifics as yet, you know, one, because there's not more cards here, and two, because this is the signature. Um, when it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So the first thing that I wanna to say to you is, um, when it comes to travel this week, certainly travel by car. Um, if you can put it off, put it off. If you absolutely can't, then just be more diligent than you usually are. I don't think this is gonna be anything catastrophic or, or disastrous, but it could be something like a bit of a fender bender. Um, it could be, you know, maybe, you know, that I hate people that do that kind of thing. And I don't hate many people, but it's one thing that really, really bugs me. You know, when somebody reverses into someone's car or they scratch someone else's car while they're parking and they don't even say anything, no details left, no nothing. There should be a special circle in hell for those kinds of people. I need to get a grip. Um, but you know, you know, in, in the, I'm, in the wider world stage, you, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make light of, of everything at the moment. That being said, um, for your, for when it comes to those of you that are studying, this could literally be um, a week where maybe you have put a lot of time, effort and hard work and patience into something and uh, your professor, your teachers, maybe even the governing body that you're studying under moves the goalpost. Um, and 
this is something that might, it, for that reason, it might get quite frustrating. A teacher could come and say to you, look, I, I know you guys are halfway through writing the, the essay or the paper on dot, 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 but actually we've decided to take it in a different direction. It won't be your fault, and it does look like there may be more time granted for it, um, but it could be quite frustrating at the, you know, at the onset. For those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, um, quite honestly, especially those of you that have been at a job for a long time, there could be some big shifts or changes going on in the upper circles of power this week and it's going to filter down really quickly like you know usually like it doesn't happen so quick but i feel like this week it will when it comes to those of you that are business owners or people that work for themselves i mean one way that this could show up for you is maybe you are being called on to uh to present or to share your business or your business ideas or your products with uh, a company that is very different to you, right? So as an example, if I you know, had a call from, um, it's not actually that far outside of the realm of possibility because it happens a lot, um, but let's say I get a call from a corporate company and they come and they say, look, you know, we want you to come in and give a talk about spirituality in the workplace. You know, I'm gonna be a bit like, Huh, okay, it's, it's very, very outside of the norm of what I do, um, but it could be great nonetheless, right? So don't be surprised this week if you've got your own business or you work for yourself, don't be surprised if you find yourself getting offered or being given opportunities in spaces and places that seem really, maybe even a little at odds with what you do. Um, when it comes to your, um, come on brain, those of you that are retired and no longer working, I think a lot of you this week are probably going to get really active when it comes to your physical health and vitality. I feel like this is going to be something that you start to put a lot of time, a lot more thought, time and effort into. Um, especially with that eight of wands here as well, because it's like you're, I don't know why, there's like a waking up energy about this as well. When it comes to your love and relations, you've got the death card. Um, okay, so we've got to call a spade a spade. The tower with the knight of pentacles and the death card can literally be a fatal car accident. That's just one way that you could read that combination. It's not for everybody. It's not even certain that it's going to happen, but it is something that I see and so therefore I have to say it. Um, if you've been with me long enough, I don't need to explain myself to you. If you don't like that I, from time to time, talk about and predict death and STIs and all the other things, then maybe you need to check in with your human. Um, what, I, what do I mean by that? I mean that human life is every single experience that a human life can experience, that a human person can go through. And that includes the heavy stuff, it includes the dark stuff. I don't relish talking about it, but I'm not gonna shy away from it if it comes up. This is how I do what I do. Um, now, that being said, when it comes to those of you that are single, um, it could be that for some of you that maybe there's somebody that you're crushing on this week that you find out is, is, uh, is moving or is leaving the company. Like, you know, you finally pluck up your courage to say to that person, look, you know what, I really wanna go out for coffee with you. And then you find out they're leaving and it's like, ugh. <laughs> you know, and Cancer's like, oh my gosh, no, this is actually devastating to me. Um, <laughs> all in the feels, all in the feels. Uh, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, it doesn't mean that your relationship's coming to an end but it does look like one of your commutes might be coming to an end. So where maybe one of you has to commute to work, maybe the company is closing, maybe you know the position that your partner is in no longer exists. Something about the partner's work is gonna see their commute or their daily um, travel to and from coming to an end in some way. And then for your money and materials, you got the seven of cups. I mean, technically you have two sevens here because the tower card is 16, one and six gives you seven. The For me, the seven of cups when it comes to money and finances, 
this is a warning about your longer term finances, all right? So this is not a week for giant purchases. In fact, this would be a really good week to start fi finding ways to trim down your, your outgoings. Not to say that, I mean, you've got the tower card here, so, you know, there could be, you know, and especially with this, and if you're partnered, maybe one of your incomes is taking a bit of a hit this week. And it looks like it could be something that carries over for a little while longer than expected. So just, this would be a really good week to start thinking about where you can trim down your outgoings and your expenses. When it comes to your um, physical health and vitality, the Seven of Cups is your gonads and your reprodu reproductive system. And you've got a double hit of this because you've got the death card close by as well. Um, when it comes to your home and environment, the Seven of Cups, this is a really good time to start your spring clean. Get in early, right? Before spring gets here, start doing that thing where you're getting rid of or removing things that you actually don't need or don't want. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.